Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's local news. Well, in Butler County, Ohio, a 13-year-old accidentally got shot. How's this stuff happen? Crazy. $8 million money laundering, and it was all, the way they laundered it is through, like, OnlyFans kind of stuff. Pamela Moore. We have to find a picture of her. See what she looks like. Mistrial. This man right here, Brian Carr, accused of rape. A jury could not decide whether he was guilty or not guilty in Butler County. He is going to be retried, I am sure. 24 people busted in central Kentucky by the Laurel County Drug Interdiction Task Force. Go get them, guys. Southworth. This guy killed his wife. Only got 15 years. Gets out in 14. Wow. Would you kill somebody if you knew you only had to serve 14 years? Give you something to think about, wouldn't it? In local news, Tim Nolan, former judge in Campbell County. This guy went down with trafficking. You know, he, he, what he was basically doing, they called it trafficking, but he was giving money, taking advantage of you know women that were down and out, money, sex, housing. Uh, but he was found guilty, and they're complaining now that his portrait is still hanging in the courthouse. Man, it was better times. The things that people worry about. All right, in Kentucky, the Senate's passed a bill that says minors that use a gun should be tried as adults. Amen. Folks, I've been saying this for a long time about reforming the juvenile code. I got to ask you this question. I'll ask you, Sabrina. You're a mom, raised kids. I got to ask you a question. Is a 16-year-old and a 15-year-old, 14, 13-year-old today, are they not exposed and a little more grown up than 13, 14, 15, 16-year-olds when I grew up in the 70s? You're damn right they are. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah. In other words, a 16-year-old today should not have the protection of the juvenile court system. I don't think. All right. In Ohio news, Ohio early voting began yesterday for the March 19th primary. Get out there and vote. Merrimont. The judge says there needs to be a competency uh, process for this kid. Obviously, he's got issues. And two Coleraine middle schoolers, Sabrina, got a hold of some gumbies, some marijuana, the marijuana gummies. Took them. Look at them. They look like candy. I would have ate them. I would have ate them, too, especially orange. I love the orange flavored. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Just want everybody to know that my dog is under the desk. Willow is helping me do the show today.